Thanks for joining me for this embroidery tutorial on how to use the new Go Camper die. So first of all, quilters, I have created my camper spot block. I've put it in my hoop and added stabilizer. Now for today, I'm going to actually use red thread so you can all see what it looks like. I've downloaded the free embroidery design. Today I'm going to use the blanket stitch to a flash drive, brought it here to my embroidery machine. So what's going to happen is my embroidery machine is going to do a placement stitch. And since I have pre-cut my pieces and put fusible on the back, I'm going to peel off the fusible, place it in the design and iron it down. Super easy. All right, so here we go. Now remember quilters, we have a variety of embroidery files on our website, so you just need to download the file that will work with your embroidery machine. All right, the machine has put down my placement stitch. So now I'm just gonna peel off the back. Remember, you wanna keep your block in the hoop. And then I'm going to lay it right here in that placement stitch. Look how easy that was. Then I'm gonna take my little shovel iron and I'm gonna press down the outside edges. You wanna make sure you get a good press so when it does the blanket stitch, it will not bring up the edges of your shape. Look, it has its little wheel there. It's gonna be so cute. All right, now I'm just gonna start it again and now it will stitch out the blanket stitch. Ta-da! Now, when it stitches out the pattern, it's gonna start with the underlying pieces and build the camper. So it's gonna start with the camper, and then it's gonna do the wheels, and then it's going to do all the other windows and doors. You'll wanna make sure, quilters, that when you're centering that block in the hoop, that there's enough space over here so that the wheels go on the grass row. Okay, now it's ready to do the next placement stitch. So I'm going to start my machine. And now it's going to do the big wheel. So just like before, I'm gonna take my wheel I'm gonna put it right over the placement stitch, take my iron and press it down. I like these little shovel irons when I'm doing embroidery, that way I don't burn my fingers with a large iron. All right, ready to go. All right, we're ready for our next piece. I add my tiny little circle. So for just a second here, I'm gonna pull it down from the hoop, just so that I can get that little guy on there. There we go. Right, lock my hoop back in place, and I'm ready to go. All right, now we're ready for the doors and windows. I love to watch my embroidery machine work. A 
Again, I'm going to loosen this for just a second and bring it down so that I can get my door in the right place. Now our camper door actually has a window, so let's put the placement stitch down for that. Make sure you get a good iron so that those pieces press together. Here we go. All right, only two shapes left. So now we're going to stitch out the large camping window for a cute little camper. Remember quilters, we have three free embroidery downloads. You can use the blanket stitch, which is what I'm using today, the satin stitch, or the motif stitch. All right, and our last piece is this fun little piece that covers the wheel. Now this is kind of a long and skinny piece, so you want to make sure that you line it up with the placement stitch. Okay. All right. We're going to stitch out that last piece and then we'll be done. All right, and now we have finished. Ta-da! Doesn't that look great? I'm Pam Heller from AccuQuilt, reminding you that at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time so you can quilt more.